jugu soo noqonay oo aynu aan ku xajinayno casharadi hore oo aynu horay u duubnay aan wuxuu noqonaya aan tenses ama aynu dhidhaahnaba verb tenses because marka aan ka hadlayno tenses ka ama waxa la yiraahdo aan muxuu haytay waqtiga iyo muxuu haytay aan ficilka waxaynu had iyo jeer aynu ka fakirna waqtiga uu ficilkani dhacay iyo sida uu u dhacay iyo muxuu haytay ficilka la isticmaalay marka aan casharkeena maanta wuxuu ku saabsan yahay aan ficilada iyo waqtigooda la isticmaalay waqtiga la isticmaalay ma waqti had iyo jeer ma waqti la soo dhaafay ba ma soo socda ma waqti soconaya ma waqti dhamaaday wax yar ka horba ma waqti aan muxuu ahaa toy soo socda oo maxaan ku dhahday mustaqbalka soo socda bilaaban doona ma waqti muxuu ahaa toy mustaqbalka socon doona marka waxaan ka hadlayna aan ficilka waqtigu bilowday iyo waqtigu dhamaaday ama waqtigu bilaaban doono iyo waqtigu dhamaan doono ama waqtigu socon doono iyo inuu mar walba dhaco ayaanu ka hadlayna een marka waxaan u dhidhi een waxaan ka hadlayna waxa weeyaan wa verb tenses right marka een maanta waxaan ugu horeysiinayna een macnaha waxyaabo yar yar oo qofka bini aadanka ah had iyo jeer uu la kulmo marka wax la weydiinayo su'aalaha soo ah aan soo xulnay oo ah su'aalo muhiim ah oo qofku loo baahan yahay inuu barto sida looga jawaabo isagoo isticmaalaya een xilliyeyn micnaha xilliyeynta isagoo isticmaalaya marka waxaynu ka bilaabayna su'aalaha iyo sida looga jawaabi lahaa waxaan isticmaalayna ficiladi inagoo isticmaalayna su'aalaha micnaha maxaa ka mid ah وإلا توبان سؤالود أو مهيم أه توبان كا سؤالود وحا معناها قفكو ويستعمالي كرا نلوشي سو استعمالي كرا أما ماركو وكاها الليو معناها إساقا لفتيكي سو إنو وح وغشي أغا قفكا لي أما ماركو دونا يو إنو قفكا لي وحكا ويديو نلوشي سا محا كمدا سؤالها قفكا ماركا دونا يسيد إناد براتيد أو آد مقارنة ساي سوكين هرائسا and ماركا دي سا سلانتان hello how are you I'm a hi, how are you? I'm a good morning. And waxa ugu horreya o aad qofka duuna isa inaad ka uga towa maxay. Waxa wayan waad sual bad wa diina sa qofki. Adigo o istiqmala ya en kelmet suale. O kelmet suale diya das wa aynu dibka qaadan doono. Lakin hadda aynu kusi istiqmali doono suale henna. Aynu iswe diina ino marka aynu bina aadan nahay o aynu kulano. Waxa ta ugu horre sa wa maxay. Qofka waxa duuna isa magi isa ina du gato. Then the first thing that you're going to ask the person when it's the first time that you met him or you meet him, what's your name? What is your name? And marka an sualaha, marka wahan samayna na, inna go sualaha na sharha na o magarana isa and isu shayga na, ayo inu haddana waha inu maru wal balla tega na marka inu suasha iswe di no, and sabura da inna go kaga chawaba na. Si aad ula soqtaan sharaxayga una qorataan su aalaha si aad uga faaida istaan mustaqbalka. Marka aad doon isaan inaad uxqortaan au nqortaan. Marka aad doon isaan inaad dadla hadashaan u naftiina uxuga shayktaan. Ama aad isbartaan qofka. Ama aad doon isaan su aalaha marki lidin wediyen aad ka chawabtaan. Then the first question as I said was is what's your name? Marka the waxa ugu horreyo aad marka qofka aan sabrota takma. As I said. Uh, the first question uh, we're going to ask ourselves, or for example, uh, we can ask each other is, or if we meet somebody and we want to know that person's name, uh, the first question that we are going to ask that person is, what's your name? What's your name? Then to answer that question, to make it easy for you to know how to answer. When somebody asks you, you your name and then you want that person know your name. Then you say, my name, my name is Ali or Omar or John.
or let us say George. Let us say yeah, let's say Omar. Okay? So the second name, uh, the second question, sorry, uh, we're going to ask ourselves is for example, you know the person's name. When you say, what's your name? Then you say, my name is Ali, my name is Omar, my name is uh, George, my name is John, my name is Albert, my, na my name is Peter. You want to, to know how that person's name is spelled or what's the spelling of that person's name in order for you, for example, to write his name properly when you want to communicate with him in writing. So if you want to write a, uh, 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 a letter to your friend and you cannot be able to write his name properly or you cannot spell his name in a correct way, then it's going to be a little bit, little bit problem. So when you know, you know your friend's name, you have to know how to spell his name. Then you say, uh, for example, how do you spell your name? How do you spell? How do you spell your name? Or you can say, what's the spelling of your name? What's the spelling of your name? Then you can say, I spell my name like Ali, okay? Then you say, I spell my name my name A L I Ali. Or you can say, my name is spelt. Okay? My name is spelt. A L I. So, how can we number canary? For example, how do you spell your name? You say, what's the what's the spelling of your name? In two ways. You can say, I spell my name, I spell my name, Ali, which is like A-L-I, A-L-I, Ali. Or you can say, my name is spelled Ali, or A-L-I. Then here, we use spelt. How can we use it? spell. Marka, this one, well, present tense, this is something that you do every day. You spelt your name every day, A-L-I. And this one is, uh, is spelt, Marka, tiradid, wahawayan, wahaloi spelling gareya. In another way, wahadu kore kartid, ma'naha, maga aiga wahanu spelling gareya, ama spelling maga aigu wa, ma'an kura adai, and Ali. Iyo maga aiga waxa loo ispeelin garaya. Marka atka hal is qofka la sida u maga aga u ispeelin garaya. Ama sida u maxaan kura hadaya. And u u qoro ispeelin kisa. And marka labada asiyod badu gacha wabi karta. Waxa daran karta. How do you spell your name? Ama what's the spelling of your name? Labadu ba waasah. Marka labada wa tistimali karta. I spell my name. A-L-I. Ama my name is spelled. Maga aiga waxa loo loo ispeelin garaya. A-L-I. لابد أسيوط بوضعنا كرتا سؤاشا كالي وين سويدين كرنا وحاويين What's your country of origin? مثلا قفك هدا دوني سيد ناشنالة تيجي سينا دو قاتيد أما وحاضران كرتا What What is your country of origin? Waddanka. At Kasuchi did. I'm a chinsia de Waddanka go Kasuchi da. Wahage. I'm a chinsia de Vatai. 
وعلى رنكرا مركا وحاضر رنكرا جواب توحي نقونا يسا my country of origin is my country my country my country of origin my country of origin is let's say Canada let's say Somalia and so on my country of origin is China my country of origin is United States my country of origin is Egypt my country of origin is let's say Ethiopia my country of origin is Kenya my country of origin whatever you want so you have to mention the country of origin you belong or where you come from or in another way you can also say what's your nationality in another way that you can ask that question to somebody uh, what's your nationality right what is is your nationality so in this sense uh, you are not actually for example um, thinking about for example exactly the origin but you say you you think about in in general way of saying what's your nationality and that sense you are asking that person is nationality so you can say what's your nationality what's your nationality so you can say my my nationality is canadian my nationality is somali my nationality is american my nationality is chinese my nationality is japanese my nationality is italian then you can answer the question in that way you say my nationality my nationality is canadian canadian or somali so you can understand how the two questions are different here you say canada and here you say canadian here you mention the country and here you mention the person who is canadian which is the nationality here you say somalia which is the country and here you mention somali which is the person so in here the origin is the country and here nationality is the person so that's the difference of the two questions right and the fifth uh, fourth question that we can ask ourselves is uh, is where what's your residence the present Okay. Okay, you can say where is your residence or where do you live? Okay, where do you live? Where do you live? Or where do you reside? Where do you reside okay so or you can say what's your president uh, present residence or for example what's your present uh, for example uh, let's say uh, place of, of living so we can say I live uh, let's say in 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 Canada I live in United States I live in Somalia, I live in Egypt. So that's where you live by the time or by this time. The other question that we can ask ourselves is, uh, for example, how long did you live in this city? How long? How long? How long?
Number six, how long did you live in here? Then you can say, I lived, I lived here for two years. I lived here for two years. Or you can say, in a short, two years. Two years. Uh, for example, you can say, the length of the time uh, in this country. What is the length of time that you live in this country? Or how long that you have lived in this, in this country? Then you can say, I have lived here for three months. I've lived here for two months. I've lived here for three years. Uh, you can say both past and the future. Usually when you are talking about how long you live it in that place. And the sixth uh, question that we can ask ourselves, what's the reason What's the reason of coming here? Or what's your reason of coming here? What is your reason? What's your reason of coming here? What's your reason of coming here? Then you can say, I came here to study. Or I came here to work. Right? I came here to work, okay? Or I came here to study. I came here to study, all right? <coughs> or I came here to live in this country. Or I came here to settle in this country. I came here, I came here to settle, to settle in this country, in this country. Okay, so you can, you can answer in so many different ways. I said the first one, you can say, I came here to work, or I came here to study, or I came here to settle. I came here to settle in this country, or I came here to live in this country. Okay, the seventh question is, what's your field of study? If you're a student, you can be asked, for example, or you can ask somebody, uh, for example, his, fi his field of study or her field of study. So you can say, what's your field of study? What's your, what's your field of study? What's your field of study? Question mark. And then... Uh, you can say, uh, my field of study is accounting. Okay, you can say, my field of study is accounting. Is accounting. Medicine. Medicine. Uh, it's medicine. My field of study is medicine. Or you can say, my field of study is education. Education. Okay, so whatever your field of study, you mention it. And you say, my field of study is accounting. My field of study is medicine. My field of study is, is edu education and so on. And the eighth question that we can be asked, or you can ask somebody, what do you do uh, as an activity, and what do you do in your spare time? What do you do, what do you do, what do you do, what do you do, in your spare time.
Or you can say, what activity do you do in your spare time? Or you can say, what's your interest in your spare time? So many ways uh, can be asked in that question. So you say, I play sports. Or you can say, I go for swimming, which is part of the sports. Or you can say, I go to the library. Or you can say, uh, for example, I help my family. Or you can say, um, uh, what do you say, uh, for example, um, I volunteer uh, to the community. Or I do community services. So the ninth question that we can ask somebody or we is, for example, uh, what's your general well-being and how do you adjust living here? For example, your general well-being is about, for example, your life, uh, how, for example, you live in that place, or, for example, uh, how do you adjust in the place that you're living uh, within the society, within the school, within the workplace, within, uh, let us say, uh, for example, with the uh, sports activities that you are participating, and so on. So you can say, how's your general well-being, and how do you adjust with the life in this place, or in this residence, or in this country? So in that question, it, it varies. Or, for example, it, it differs. Uh, it has uh, various answers which you can actually use. You can say, um, my general well-being is great, for example. And I'm, uh, for example, adjusting with the school. I'm adjusting with my friends. I'm adjusting with the environment and the country. And uh, I'm adjusting with, with, for example, with the climate and with the weather. So it depends how you answer, for example, this question because it varies. And the last question that we answer, or for example, uh, we, we, we're going to answer if we are asked or we ask somebody and we just actually understand how the person that we ask uh, answers back to us is, for example, uh, can you give me some comment on leaving here? For example, if you want to understand how this person uh, sees living in the place where he is or she is, then you say, can you be, please give me a comment uh, on you living here, for example, or how is living here is, then uh, it's great. Uh, it's, it's actually fantastic to live here. I like living here. It's very funny and very interesting. Uh, for example, it's so attractive. It's a great place to live uh, and so on. You can actually express your... Um, understanding or for example your feeling in leaving that place and you can use or you can explain in so many different ways so you can see living in Canada is so interesting because of what because of that you have seen so many things which interest your life so because of that interest you go after it and you want to acquire so many interesting things which leads you to study so many things. Because when you interest in something, then you look after to know how the interest actually, um, for example, uh, match with your personal interest, and for example, how other people interest about that thing, and so on. So uh, we can say uh, it's actually very funny place to live. Because of what? Because of the places that you go, and you see so many funny things, and you live happily because of that, because of whatever makes you happy, whatever actually you feel as funny, then it makes you happy. So that means it's a funny, ni funny nice place to live, or funny place to live, right? So you can answer in many ways as well uh, for the last question that we have actually um, uh, said. And uh, we actually conclude our lesson today about, because we have been talking about like, um, many different tenses and many different times using different verbs. But it's just general. And this is action of questions that we can be asked or you can ask to somebody. And then you can see how that person answers back to you. And it's a learning. 
to know about somebody's life. And it's also learning to tell somebody about your life. Because when you tell somebody about your life, you will learn somebody's life as well. Because once you tell him about your life, you want to get something in return, and you will know about that person's life, his country, his personality, his interest, his hobby, or her whatever. So we'll stop there for today and we'll proceed our next lesson, which is the second lesson that we will be recording next time or the preceding time, uh, uh, which is about the tenses and we'll go deep down to the tenses, uh, differentiating them from uh, the first present tense up to the last and we have 12 different tenses in English and we'll explain one by one. Thank you very much and have a great day.